Hello everybody, Sift3 again, and today I will be playing Orb of Creation. The game is an idle game, so if you enjoy idle games, you will enjoy this. This is a bit different than the other ones though, it's not just numbers go up. It has a bunch of mechanics that are intricate and go into each other, etc, etc. The idea is we are a mage as far as I understand. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. It's for five bucks if you want it on Steam. I think four bucks actually. So yeah, you awake in a dark void. The only thing in front of you is a glowy orb. Let's start. Let's begin. Let's see. I've played a bit of this before. You can also find it for free as far as I know. In, uh, on some side, armor games or something. You can find it for free if you want to play it online. Bind mana to the orb for 25 mana plus two base mana per second. This is the classic upgrade our things. Learn divination, learn to manifest glyph that generates understanding. Okay, 120 energy, learn the manifestation glyph that expands an element. Um, yeah, first of all, let's continue this. Spellbook. What is this? Gather knowledge, divine spell, 100 mana. I I'm gonna call this mana, it is mana, okay? Discover and learn how to use the orb. Okay, I just click it, learn the spell. Okay, we're just gonna click through things and we're gonna explain retroactively what is happening here. Casting, based on what I understand, right? Gathering knowledge, it says. 100 mana. Discover and learn how to use the orb. Okay, let's click it. 10 second cooldown, gain one knowledge. Oh, this is the spell. Oh, this is casting. I see. Already discovered. Casting, learn. Okay, so in spellbook, we here we learn new spells. What is this? Gain one knowledge. 10 second cooldown. Press it. Okay, so we're, we're casting spells, and this costs 100 energy to cast. I see. And it also has a 10 second cooldown. Okay, and we're gaining the knowledge resource. So, uh, we have the mana resource and the knowledge resource, and we will get a bunch of other resources. So, we use mana right now to cast this gather knowledge spell. As far as I know, you're supposed to be able to... Oh, here we got a new one. You are starting to recollect yourself and your abilities. Unlock wizardry upgrades. Spellbook loadout. Learn how to add, move, and remove quick spells. Okay, so we use this new resource to do that. And I'm always be pressing this with my keyboard whenever I remember, so I'm using hotkeys for that. Loadout. So this is active spells. Gather knowledge. Okay, so we can just put more spells in our spellbook. That's good to know. Let's create a third one too. Why not? And now we have three times the same book. Wizardy knowledge. So a core metal attribute improves your mana capacity. More mana capacity plus 120 mana capacity. Yeah, that's nice. Now we can continue building up the infuse orb so we gain more mana regen. I think regen is always the first thing I go for. Like always, always, always. Okay, let's go with a bit more capacity. These things also continue giving us knowledge, but now I can start casting them back to back. Whenever I cast them, I get one knowledge. So I guess that it's a semi-idle, semi-active game. Uh, let's increase capacity even more. And now let's hit for the 400, so I improve this. Learn expansion. Learn the manifestation glyph that expands an element. Uh, might as well. Learn the conjure. Learn the manifestation glyph that it creates from nothing. Okay, so this is we get new glyphs with a spellbook, right? Yeah, here it is. So available spells. Learn the spell. First of all, yeah, let's learn it while I'm reading through this. What is the new spell? What does this do? Toggle up for 40 seconds. Plus 80% divining spell power. Okay, so this is a spell that for 60 seconds makes my other spells better. And that's what I understand from what I'm getting here. But I think it's better to spam these spells three times. Is it though? This gives 80% for 60 seconds. I mean, if, if I cast even... Yeah, no, that, that doesn't make sense. So let's throw this away. Yep, refunded, I see. And let's also equip this. So when I use this... For the next 60 seconds, I almost gain double double of what I should get. So instead of wasting, you know, 100 for 1, it's most likely going to be 100 for 1.87, as you see. So this is definitely worth it. It's better to cast twice. So it's better to for 200 mana to gain, you know, 2, 3 point something. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's, it's definitely better. Anyway, we're going to continue spamming here. Uh, advance your collection of spells, casting a more wizardry upgrades. Okay. What is this? Improves your ability to divine. Plus four divination spell power. Okay, divining spell power. What is this? Improves the ability to recover and withstand. So this gives us mana per second. Okay, we also spam this, obviously. Binds mana to the orb to slowly create a feedback loop. Plus two mana per second. 
And then we obviously also need a bit more uh, room here. Capacity. Okay, so now that we have 500 capacity, I can go for this. Two mana per second. And we're gaining 20 mana per second. Okay, which is pretty decent. Learn the new spell. First, let's get the upgrade on mana gain. And then we're going to go for the new spell. Also, no reason to spam these two right exact this moment. M might as well go for a bit more of mana region. 4.04 .04 mana region per second. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to be waiting a bit. Let's get this new spell, see what exactly it does. Maybe it's even more efficient. What is this? Increase the amount of glyphs you can use to create a spell, allowing you to create more powerful spells. Plus one max spell creation slot. You know what? I don't think I want to be reading this middle line there. I can just read the bottom. So it costs 12... Uh, what is this? Wisdom? Knowledge? 12 knowledge for uh, plus one max spell creation slot. I definitely want more creation slots. Okay, let's begin the combo here. More mana regen for sure. Max capacity. Let's also see the new spell. What does this do? 15 second cooldown toggle for up to 3 seconds. Wait, how much cooldown does this thing have? 60 cooldown. Oh, for 40 seconds is the buff and 60 is the cooldown. Got it. Toggle for... 3 seconds. Plus 3d6 divine spell power. Plus 0 0.6 divining cooldown time. At uh, times. Okay, so... Yeah, this makes it so that all your spells for a small amount of time, you can spam them really quickly. Okay, that's fair, I guess. So you could theoretically combine these two. And this also lasts 15 seconds only. Yeah, th this is like for a burst. Let's take this. And I now want the max spell slot exactly. Now, can I rearrange these? Wait. Oh. Oh, it's to combine. Ah, it's here. This oh, Okay, very disappointing. <laughs> I didn't think that was it. What is this? Expand magic. Deepen your magical capabilities. Every point of thermatic regime increase your mana. 480 mana and 3d second cooldown against of Madrichi. Let's know, learn this new spell. Let's throw this away. Let's use this new Thermatrogy spell as it gives us a new resource. Why not? Here you go. I would also like to have a bit more mana capacity to get one more of these. So what does this do exactly? Just give the Thermatrogy. That's it for 180 energy. Yeah. Now we got Thermatrogy. What does this do? Plus 40 mana capacity, soft caps at 1000 Thermatrogy. And what can I use it for? I can use it for casting levels and mastery levels, grow your abilities exponentially. So more casting speed and more spell mastery rate. Yep. And also for this thing, your ability to consume and use information, mental resources gained, and base knowledge per second. Oh, this is, uh, this is, yo bro, this is an idle game. <laughs> that is what this is. <laughs> we begin the idle part. You know, because right now the only idle is the mana gaining, I obviously would like to make these idle too. So uh, I will begin with this. Now everything should be more powerful. And I'm gonna cast this first as it has a bigger cooldown. Done. Nice. And now we start gaining this a bit. Very nice. Mental resources gained. I don't know what mental resources is. Is this mental resource? 1.99. Well, I, I think maybe all of them are. Magic mental resource. Magic spirit, or spirit resource. I see. Aptitude. This is your ability to divine. I mean, this makes just all the spells better. So this is just a yes. I want... Mostly mostly I want mana region related stuff though. Honestly speaking. Wisdom. Max mana capacity. I think I'm gonna go with this and then this. I think it's a bit smarter. To go with more mana region and, and more mana region. Uh, what else do we need? Improves your maximum spell casting abilities. Plus one max spell slot. This is what I want. I want max spell slots. And I also start believing that it's not very smart to have this as my first spell. Yeah, because it gives me 80% more for 40 seconds. So its uptime is less than its cooldown. While uh, for these 60 seconds that it's cooling down, I could spam the spell a few times. Yeah, for sure. Wisdom, more max mana. Yeah, why not? Let's continue on with here. What's the target? Do we have like a target? This is a new element. Wait, do I have a new spell? Oh, I have a new spell here too. What does this do? Required facialization, this thing. Requires aptitude level 2 out of 8 and gather knowledge 1 out of 3. Wait, gather knowledge is the spell? Oh, what is this? Is this in casting? What is this little icon over here? How, how can I... How can I level it up? Casting level. The proficiency in casting spells. For casting level, you gain non-charm spells power and non-charm cooldown speed. Oh, that's good. That's actually really good. Let's activate the thing again. 
So click on a spell to cast it. Yeah, we knew that. Gain by cast gain by using spells. They're in a spell. Okay, where is the level up, man? How do you level up? Maybe I have to... Yeah, unlocks the ability to level up spells. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. And uh, where do I do this now? Here we go. Manage. Okay, let's level this thing up. What does it need? 10 of its own resource. Ah, very nice. What does this thing need? 25 of the resource. Oh, we're also gaining... Oh, this uh, this levels up uh, on its own through the duration. Good to know. Got 10. Okay, now what does it do? Now it costs 200 mana, has a 13 cooldown, but now gives on its own 2.12. I'm starting to believe this is not that much of a good idea. Actually, I don't know. I'm 50-50 on it still. And what did this get? Oh, I didn't upgrade it. Whoops. <laughs> Intelligence. Yeah, let's get a bit more of knowledge. This is knowledge, right? Yeah, okay, this is knowledge. Max capacity. Yeah, why not? I'm closing into the one case, so maybe we can get this. What is augmentation table? Max spell augmentation slots. What? Okay, it's another new thing. As you see, a bunch of new mechanics are popping in. So right now, to recap, we have mana, and then we have the two spells that cost mana to give to give us either knowledge or thaumaturgy, and then I have this spell that is a channeling spell that gives us uh, more uh, more of everything that whatever I'm casting. Uh, I really enjoy this, but I want to get the thaumaturgy table. I mean, I can get the thaumaturgy table. I just need to get the thaumaturgy up. I'm gonna wait for this to activate. I'm gonna continue gaining mana regen. I think mana regen is the the first and foremost, the most important one. Oh no, I'm out of mana. Okay, I need eight thermatogy for this augmentation table so that I have augmentation slots. Casting XP gain and spell mastery rate. Yeah, we can do this at some other point. I, I'm not sure we're really chasing down the XP of the, all the spells, especially because the cooldown goes up and the mana cost also goes up. I mean, efficient wise, it's definitely good, but. <laughs> Um, for the start of the run wise, we're not really chasing XP gain right now. We will make the spells more powerful later. Later. Augmentation table. And what is this? Learn augmented that makes it qu blah blah blah. Augment glyphs do not create new spells. Instead, they modify already spells. Learn okay. Unlocks quick. More cost, less cooldown. Mm, yeah, I always enjoy that as an idea. It's in the loadout. Okay, so how do I equip this? Ah, okay, so I have to sell it and then rebuy it with equipped here. So got it. And it increases the, the cost four times. No, it costs the creation cost four times, but the casting cost goes just up by a bit. So this has 8.9 cooldown now, but costs 230. Okay, I think it's better like that. I need to sell this. Whoops. Well, that's not possible. Heavy. So heavy is one of these. More power, more cost, more drain. I guess if it's channeling, right? And five times more cooldown. So this is if you want to only cast once in a blue moon and don't really care about casting that often. You don't want to spam spells all the time. Uh, let's go with Wisdom because we need a bit more there. Let's go with Wisdom again. And then we're going to go with Infusion and also Resilience. I'm not going to learn Storm. Should I learn Storm yet? I'm not sure if I should learn Storm yet. I could. Let's try. Let's see what spells we get from this. Spellbook. Nope. Load out. Actually, learn. Learn. What does this do? And what does this do? I'm still uh, require uh, missing requirements. A crackling energy emits out of your finger fingers. For 240 mana and for a duration of 13 cooldown. No, for 3 seconds you generate spark per second. What is spark? First of all, I want to get this max spell slots. So I need 3D knowledge and of Madruji, 10th of Madruji. Okay, that's not really that hard to do. I can do that easily. We just need to wait to get a bit of mana. And then we should just spam these two all the time. I also wanted to spell this, uh, the, uh, sell, sell that spell. Did this get an upgrade? Oh, this got upgraded. 5th of Madruji. Oh, I can read what it gets. More power, double the cost, more cooldown? Yeah, more cooldown makes sense. Triple the experience rate. So it becomes a lot more expensive, but also the cooldown goes a bit up. Yeah, this is worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um, and this also, right? 25 of these. Yeah, let's do one more. 24.5. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait a minute here. Uh let's let's sell this and put it up as oh that that's not possible. 
Oh, I wanted to have it as a fast version, but it seems like a no. More cost, more base duration, more base power. Okay. So this does gives me for 41 seconds and almost 100%. Let's go. Let's pump some energy on the other thing. I mean, this I definitely want the cooldown thing on uh, on this. It's a bit too much, like 38 seconds. Are you serious? <laughs> At least it's gonna sync with the other thing. And uh, we just need 10th of Mother G anyway for this bandwidth for one more max slot. And I'm going to put like one of these expand magic on that. Actually, I'm going to put the... Where is this thing? The the electricity. Didn't I get it? This thing. The spark. Spark. I want to go the spark route. Let's see what spark gives us and what access we get from that. Uh, this is definitely going to go up. Just waiting for the expand magic. You know, classic roguelike, in classic uh, idle game fashion in the beginning, everything is a bit slow. But I think in this game, uh, always, it's going to be always slow. Uh, the thing is that I will be able to upgrade a bunch of things from other paths. Because as you see here, there is a bunch of room. So that's like a dead giveaway, a giveaway that we're going to get other things other than magic. And um, I'm pretty sure that after I get insane in magic, I will start getting insane. Like if I get, for example, insane something else, I will be coming back to magic to use that. Our boost that we got to upgrade my magic. I mean, that's why I'm assuming. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'm gonna. Maybe these are like arcs and you stop caring about magic after a while. I don't know. Hello. Let's take this. Let's take bandwidth. Let's also take resilience. Okay, let's see what. So now we have another slot. Let's put this new spell in this without speed. It doesn't need to be speedy. So what does it do? 240. Let's see. Here you see new resource. I see. Spark. Elemental resource. Electricity. Divination of mana. Fasty. Raw. Loss. Loss. 4% per second. Okay. Plus 0.80 non-charm cooldown speed. Soft caps at 100 sparks. Oh, spark gives us cooldown. So we want to have this as high as possible, right? This has 0.6 cooldown right now. 0 0.6. 0 0.6. 0 0.7. 0 0.7. 0 0.8. Yeah, spark actually gives us cooldown. And also, I guess something else. For five sparks, I learned this corner how to use energy to improve your wizardy. Wizard, yeah, whatever, we take it. Unlocks critical casting. I think this is in here, right? Yeah. Agility. Improve the recovery time of casting. Okay, so spark is cooldown related. I see. 2%. I mean, it's decent. L let's wait for everything to fill up alongside this thing. Aptitude. Improves the divination spell power. Yeah, might as well. Make spells better. Also, spam the second spell. Actually, I, I said I said I want to wait. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Energy is going down. What is this? Base mana per second. Base sparks gained. Oh, wait a minute. I want this. Sorry, guys. I didn't see it. Take this. Okay, now I have even more mana regen and also spark more sparks gain. Base sparks gain. Well, we don't. We are not gaining any sparks right now. So percentage base sparks gain isn't really that useful. Okay, let's begin. You first, then boom, boom. And just like that, I'm out of energy. Okay, I'm not sure I need the sparks right now, but let's yolo it. Maybe for this. Yeah, the problem with the spark is that it, you know, it, it goes down. <laughs> if I get this again before this hits zero... Maybe, maybe, maybe we can do it for this. Maybe. Ah, so close. Okay, it's like not happening. <laughs> Resilience. No mana regen. Mana regen. Go. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Got it. Nice. So we got more mana regen, even more. I didn't get that much of Maturgy though. Not sure if it, I need it. More knowledge per second. Casting speed gain. No divination spell power. I'm okay with this. Divining spell power. I think divining is everything, right? As far as I understand, divining has to be everything. Okay, so first of all, spark goes up really slowly. I think I need one more spark. Can I can I learn like a new spell here that has to do with sparking? No, this is still this thing. Which this thing wants aptitude and gather knowledge two out of three. Gather knowledge two out of three is not really that hard. I'm still leveling it up. You know, let's throw the spark away. Let's not actually try so many things at the same time. Let's get one more of these um Thapmaturgy ones because the, this this thing is going pretty decent anyway. Let's continue with mana region. I think mana region is pretty important. Spell crit rating. 
What is plus eight spell crit rating? 40% spell crit effect. Oh, there is a spell crit. I see. So this makes it so we have a chance to crit. That's important. Continue upgrading this or this. Non-charm cooldown speed. I'm as, I mean, cooldown speed is important, but we have minor problems anyway. So right now, cooldown speed is not what we care about. Gaining resources is what we care about. Only gaining resources matters right now. At least for me, you know. At least for me. At least the way I'm playing this. Should I maybe go with lower levels of expand magic? Not sure. Casting XP gain. Let's go with a bit of casting XP gain. That's it though. <laughs> one level is enough. So what exactly do these things need? Plus one max sl spells slowed out. But this is good. Just needs one more in intellect. Which intellect is this thing? Yeah, I mean, this is something I really care about anyway, so... Did we get a level? No, no level yet. What is this? Inspiration Incredible Seeds. Yeah, this is the... Your cooldowns are trash. Yeah, this actually... Your cooldowns are small. Wait, I could throw this away? And put this in its place. Instead of going for the one big hit, I could go for a bunch of smaller ones. Nah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's tag up the, the, the big shot here. Uh, aptitude, resilience, yeah, let's go resilience. Resilience is good. Infusion, plus 2.08 mana. Oh, how much is last? Is this gonna give us actually two mana? I wanna see if it's, if we're gonna go 39, 41.4, 42.0. Okay, so this here says that it's gonna give us 2.10 base mana, but it all, it doesn't multiply, it's, it, it doesn't cal calculate uh, the boost that we get from all the other choices. So although it says two, it gives like three, and maybe two and a half. So it's really important to know that these give us more than you think they would give us. So I would say we go one more infusion. Now that I'm pretty high on mana. 1.9. I think I'm going to go one more infusion. In general, I think it's good to go for mana regen with my mana regen. Because there isn't anything else giving us mana regen. I guess a resilience is. Uh, yeah, here we can cast once. Put the resilience on. Uh, I guess resilience is, but the rest, not really. Like, uh, most of these don't give us mana regen. So... It gives us other things, obviously, but the thing is that I think, uh, not I think, I need mana regen so that I can cast spells. I think that's pretty important. Yeah, here, here goes the I think part of that sentence. And then we're gonna, I think, aptitude and gather knowledge. What is aptitude? Aptitude is more spell casting, pretty much. And this is intelligence. I mean, we can easily get one intelligence. And uh, let's do one more of these. Boom. And now we will wait for this to fill, and then we're gonna go for mana. Uh, then we're gonna start casting is what I meant. And then from that I can get one intelligence and one duplicate spell book. Although this needs energy, this needs like this spark resource. But the thing is, I can throw these out, get the spark resource, like get the spark spell three or four times and just start spamming. That could be a thing. Fill it up, get this thing, get some spell crits. Let's begin here with the things I have. Now we go for the mana regen. Now we go full on mana regen. And a bit of this intelligence here so this needs 20 spark which we're definitely not gonna get more spell power cast the spells more spell power 15 more okay i really enjoy that we're gaining knowledge for free pretty chill experience in general pretty relaxing game speed gain and spell mastery rate both of these are not really that useful right now one more aptitude i don't think i need wisdom wisdom I would like to get a bit more of this though. A bit more resilience. Intelligence. 20 intelligence. Mental resources gained. So mental is only this. Only knowledge. So this gives us a bunch of knowledge pretty much. Which isn't bad. Honestly speaking, this isn't bad. Let's take it. Let's get more knowledge. I also casting, why not? Why not? Because I want resilience. All over the place, man. All over the place. Classic roguelike fashion. Uh, classic... Uh, uh, not roguelike. Idle game fashion. Still needs specialization. Let's take this. Why not? Just just buy it. 12 knowledge here. I want to get 18. Get a bit of more mana regen. Yeah, let's also get a bit of thermatogy. Why not? 
Boom, we're up to 17. We got it. Okay, now we got even more 51 mana regen. Very nice. And in general, I think getting mana regen very quickly and very a lot is important. This does not... Oh, this increases cost. Oh, this is not good. You know what? I'm going to go one more attune orb. Oh, we got a level and get knowledge. Nice. Can I please get the upgrade? I'm stupid. Spellbook. Manage. Here it is. So more base cost. Double the cost. Only 20% more damage. Uh, not damage. Gain. Resource gain. That's bad. That's bad for us uh, little guys. Okay, I think I want to go with this first. So let's throw these out. Where's electricity? There's not electricity. This electricity. 2000? Oh, because it's quick. Do I need this to be quick? I think I need this. I mean, I don't I don't have 2000 anyway. Here you go. 12 seconds cooldown. Yeah, that's okay. Let's begin. Cast one. Cast two. Cast three. Easy enough. And now this will start going downward. Let's get more mana regen and base spark gained. Yeah, this is like a little, this is like a small, I guess, safe spot. Triple cast in a bunch of mana. Yeah, because by using this, I increase how much, how many sparks I gain. So I can spam them and just gain a bunch. And now that I'm going to get a bunch of energy, I'm going to also use a tune orb so that these things actually give triple of what they should give. I'm, I know that I'm losing spark here, but it's okay. Let's begin. Cast them all. Cast them all. Woo. Uncharm cool. Let's go. I'm gonna cast them again. Let's also do this, why not? One charm cooldown speed. These are not charms. I don't even know what charms are anyway. Whoop, look at this. Whoop, go. Nice. More base mana regen, more spark gained. I know this costs 40, but I'm not hitting 40 yet. I will hit 20 though for this thing. Which is important. But still not yet. I think next cooldown should be a 20. But I'm not sure if it's going to synchronize here with the mana that I need. Yeah, it's most likely not going to synchronize. I'm going to do these in different orders. Because as you see, the negative part only happens. Look at this now. Now it's not going to be negative. It's not like I'm fighting the negativity. The negativity starts after like a few seconds. So I can cycle these through while I'm waiting for this to rise. Yeah, that's a good. That's how we're going to do it. And also if I need to, I'm going to take the crackling cast. If, if this doesn't hit, uh, if, if, if we hit for the electricity before, yeah, which we are, because I can force this. <laughs> spell crit rate, yeah, let's go with spell crit rate, and we got a few new things. <laughs> Learn the augment glyph that improves the spell with electrical energy. It does what? 15 crit rating, 1.5 crit effect, base cost, 5 energy. Oh, so this means you always have energy, but the spell has a higher chance to be insane. Okay. One more spell slot. That's nice. And what is this? Base spark per second. Oh, I definitely want this. And I can easily get it if I do this, this cycling thing I'm doing. So I just need to gain a bit of... I don't need this, first of all. Throw this away. Don't, don't activate. No, 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 no. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. You can't really do anything. Anything, anything. Oh, this got's upgraded. Cost, cooldown, base duration, experience gain, and more energy, though. I mean, uh, not exactly sure if I should. Sure if I should. Continue with energetic infusion. And a bit of resilience. Look at the 62 mana region. Insane. Wait, didn't I get... What did I get? Didn't I get another spell slot? Didn't I just buy another spell slot? What did I buy? Okay, I, I didn't buy this because I had this. I guess I bought new spells. Requires storm 2 out of 3. A jolt to spark energy improves. What does this do? Twenty For 20 energy, 15 cooldown, toggle for 3 seconds, conjure spell and conjure crit rate. Okay, so you spend a bit of energy and then for a few seconds you get like a big boost. Good. Uh, let's go this until we get our uh, attune orb out in North of Matuji thing in. Because honestly speaking, 20th of Matuji isn't really that hard. 100 spark is a lot harder. And then if, if we get free spark per second, it's going to be really good for us. 
Because I'm assuming that the, the base spark per second is going to completely contract the negative part of the spark thing. And then we're permanently going to have spark. And like 0 0.16 is a lot too. If you think that we're gaining 2 by casting, then gaining about 10% of that without casting, like 5% of that without casting is really good. Continue the circle. Okay, now we throw this away. Put this in. Start casting that thing too. The circle continues. How much does this cost? Storm needs to be leveled up. Okay, we continue leveling Storm anyway. Do I need to... Sorry, it's over here at manage. Do I need to actually level it up? Or is it just gonna level up here? Mastery level. Is it the mastery level or is it the actual level level? Because if it's mastery level, then it's obviously nothing that crazy for us. Okay, we're not really gaining enough of Madrigi here. With three of Madrigi per pop. Uh, let's actually see if I can cycle only between two. It seems to me like I can. So let's throw this. Oh, that was a mistake. I didn't want to do that twice. I don't want this and this. I'll go with a bit more of Madrigi. You know, a bit more of Madrigi so that we get that 20 real quick. Continue with electricity. Yeah, we just threw away our electricity, but it is what it is. What can you do, man? Misclix. Mana region more. Because I look at I really enjoy the knowledge going up and up on its own. It's very chill. You don't have to you don't need to have knowledge. And in general, I hope I get everything be automated. I really don't wanna deal with you have to, you know, cast a spell for everything. I'm okay with casting spells for things that I don't have that are new, right? Like electricity is a new system. But right now I really enjoy the, the order which things are happening, right? We got our wisdom, then we got a thing that gives us wisdom for free. Now we got spark, now we get spark for free. I'm not as sure if Thavmatrugi is gonna be for free, but you know, let's see. So let's see, if I don't cast electricity like at all right now, uh, will I permanently gain free wisdom, like free electricity or what exactly is going to be happening? I want to just, just wait here and see. Non-charm cooldown, spell crit effect. Non-charm cooldown effect. I mean, okay. This is slowly going downwards. What is this? <laughs> what is this? First of all, it says, increase the amount of knowledge per second intelligence gives. Intelligence gives you five times the knowledge per second bonus. Oh, nice. So you can retroactively upgrade the upgrade things. Okay, so this actually just slowly goes downward. I guess it's at some time, at some point it's going to stabilize. That's what I understand from, from what I'm seeing at least. So, yeah, I mean, let's just continue casting. Intellect gives us more base knowledge. Let's, you know what I want to do? I want to wait for the spell to run out, which it just did. I'm going to buy this. Look at this. Now it has 2.04 without me casting at all. So this thing actually gets insanely a lot as long as you're not casting. So that means lane surge is important because making the base cost just cost 5 more energy isn't really that bad for us because we can easily get 5 energy and that crit rate is really good. Uh, this needs 200 spark though and I don't have max spark. Uh, what can I get here? Just spam everything for now. Spell non charm cooldown. Yeah, I think cooldown is pretty important. And I also want this energetic infusion. But I also want the cooldown. And base mana, because why not? Havmatergy also gives us base mana, so gotta remember that. And I also think I am at a point where I can level up Thavmatergy. Uh, not Thavmatergy, whatever this thing is called. Uh, yeah, we upgrade this thing for 15 Thermodrigy. It will cost us a bit more than it normally does, but whatever. Uh, actually, you know what I can do? I think I can level up one more infusion. Let's continue upgrading that. This needs too much uh, shock. What does this need, by the way? Aptitude of it, got knowledge. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I want to change a bit of a plan. So... Let's go one more Thavmatergy. I'm not gonna get these because Thavmatergy gives us max energy. That's the point here. And now we're gonna wait to throw these away. And uh, add a quick one of these. No, not these, these ones. Wait a minute. I don't even need to do that. I'm just gonna level this up. Nope, I cannot level that up. <laughs> Continue with electricity. Throw this out, throw this out. Take, this, take these in. Press them. Spellbook. 
Level them up. Hello. Okay, level them up. Done. 40. Ah, easy enough. 40 isn't really that hard to achieve. And electricity isn't needed anymore. So let's throw these out too. Because right now all these cost too much for me to be able to use them. So let's throw them out. You're out, you're out. Let's take these in. I would say with speed. Well, that makes the cost a bit higher. Still, I think with speed it would be a bit better. 1,600. Are they going to be better? I can have one speedy one and one non-speedy one. Simplest solution. Uh, 40, okay, we can go on. Casting. Boop, and we got it. Facilitation purchased. What is that? Learn. It's this thing. Conjure space. Okay, we got a new spell. What does this do? For 600 energy and 9 second cooldown, gain 10 space. Oh, a new resource. Let's go. We're learning a bunch of things today. I hope you guys are keeping up. And because, like, I'm just reading and going. I'm not even trying to calculate anything. Throw this out. Uh, where, where's the new spell? Here, space. Let's, uh, let's create space. What do we need this resource for? A cap of 100. Okay. So. The world... Zavarudo. Let's go. <laughs> People are calling me. <laughs> you know what they're calling me. A few in my Discord. I'm getting attacked. I'm kidding, by the way. I'm kidding. If uh, if I'm really getting attacked, I will point it out in an orderly fashion and explain everything to everybody. Let's go with this thing. I want more energy regen. Boom. Let's go. 80. Let's go. 80 mana. It's a lot, it's a lot. Let's do the space thing. Let's see, let's create the world. Requires expansion, level 4 out of 3. I guess I have it. <laughs> you learn how to gather space and start to form the old world. Okay. I'm one of those old timers, I guess. Intellect. More base knowledge. Do I need... Oh, I capped it. Whoops. Agility. Spill cred effect. I'd also like to get a few more infusions before I go wherever I'm about to go off to. Zillions more mana. I mean, we hit the cap on this. Let's continue creating Zavarudo. Ah, wisdom. Where am I? Okay, we're gonna wait for the 600. Man, this costs a bit too much. 600, are you kidding me? Boop. Okay, we got it. The world. And we got the next thing. But before we go to the next thing, let's see what we have here. Adds the further augment slot to your table. Okay. So augment slot is th this, right? And this is glyphs slot, I would assume. Somebody would assume, you know. Resilience. And the other thing, keen intellect, this thing. Two max spell loadout slots. Oh. Six slots with this, and it's easy too. You just need 160 world and 420 mana. 420, by the way, not a random number, I'm telling you. Uh, Orn of Holding, more capacity, pretty useless. Base space per second. We obviously uh, gone for this. <laughs> we already got the Thapmatrogy, so now I just... Oh, and also new upgrades. Gather space. Gather space together and form aspects of the old world. Plus one world, world aspect slot. Cognitive space. Learn how to use space to improve your mental and magical capabilities. Unlocks memory and unlocks, unlocks sorcery. Okay, this is like not happening right now. Um, I'm close to the one of expansion. Let's first get the expansion and then we're gonna get this. And I also don't really need these. I could go for one more space creating thing. But the thing is that the space creating thing is also the same cooldown as how much it costs. I'm just doing stupid mistakes in pressing this. Like, look at this. 600. I'm gonna wait first for this, and then I'm gonna spell, press something if it's ready. I'm gonna wait for this. Today, please. Thank you. Okay, now we get free space. Which is good. And we're gonna go for cognitive space to see what it gives us. No idea what memory sorcery is. Like, a bit of... Uh, the bit I played isn't even the same as the thing I'm seeing right now, because I played the free version on, you know, Armor Games or wherever I found it. I don't even know. Which is like a few patches behind this. If they were ever going to patch it again now that this game is over here at the uh, Steam. But uh, yeah, I think I think I want to make these smaller videos, by the way. Maybe I'm going to end this like in a bit. But for now, let's see where the memory... You know, if I see something huge happen, 
then uh, then maybe I'm going to stop it. What is this? 25 base knowledge capacity. I see. So this gives us capacity. <laughs> nice. Sorcery. What is this? Based of magic capacity and spark capacity. Okay. Okay. This is the capacity area. This isn't good though. <laughs> it's not good that this is the capacity area. I mean, I guess this is the capacity related spell. So you should always have this and spam it and come over here and just use the capacity improving effects for your benefit. And also it has its own capacity improving effect. I see. And that of Madrigi also increases the capacity of mana. Yeah, everything is playing into each other. Do these things do anything? By the way, some things do stuff. Some things don't do stuff. Like, space doesn't do anything. Okay? Thavmatrigy does. As you see, plus 40 mana per... 40 max mana per Thavmatrigy. Uh, knowledge does nothing. Spark does. More cooldown on non-charm spells. Soft caps after 100 spark. I mean, fair enough for the soft cap, but still. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it pretty much. Let's continue with upgrading here knowledge for a moment. And um, I would also like to get this a few times, maybe. You know what? You know what I want to see? This here has stopped at, not the middle, but a part of the middle. Quantity 56.8, capacity 100, raw rate 2.39, gain 100 something, loss 4% per second. So, so I guess the 4% per second means that it takes based on... Wait a minute, you know what? We're just gonna get this and see. Is it gonna get stuck at 56.8 or is it gonna go higher because the max capacity is higher? I think it's gonna get stuck. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, the thing is that the, the percentage loss is based on what you have currently. So by having currently 56.8, it means that my 4% of 56.8 has to be 2.39. And this is why my raw rate is 2.39 and I'm gaining nothing because uh, the negative also hits. Uh, that's like the only logical explanation here. If that is not what's happening, then... Um, then your guess is as good as my... Oh, wait a minute. Two levels of this unlock this thing. What is this thing? Creates from space to hold urns. So this is better urn of holding effect and better urn of comp expansion effect. Urn of expansion is the free space thing. Urn of holding is the more space thing. More space space thing. <laughs> okay, let's go back to casting. We found a new spell. Augments the aptitude causing it to improve your resilience. New aptitude effect. It gives more resilience effect. So the aptitude effect, this, is going to give a resilience effect to this. So this is an insane upgrade. 120 knowledge I gathered. Let's go with electricity here for a moment. I don't need space, I would say. I don't need space. Let's go with electricity. Spark it. Buy it. And now... So now this... Yeah, this gives more power to resilience. And resilience gives more power in general, more energy. Okay, nice combo. Like, I, I I really enjoy this. Like, now I can upgrade this and make sure that it upgrades this. And this also upgrades what my spells do anyway. So this isn't really a bad pick in, in the first place. Man, this is, this is really enjoyable. A lot of things happening at the same time all over the place. It's really weird, but it's also fun. I, I, I enjoy what's happening here. I, I The only thing I don't enjoy is electricity going downward. But I think if I get a bit better cooldown then uh, I will be able with only one electricity to maintain my electricity all the time. Right? Because it's only cooldown based. If, if this cooldown is as much as the duration, then I pretty much can... Like, the, right now the cooldown is 6 and the duration is 3. If I put, like, the cooldown sigil on it, it should be good. I hear base mana region, why not? I want infusion right now. The music has become a bit more uh, noisy. Intellect gives us more of this. Like, everything is bound to each other. Up. Let's take this, why not? Also gives us energy regen anyway. Ding. Music is nice too. Remember that it exists. What should we go for the sideways upgrade? I mean, this is not happening. I, I think, honestly speaking, I think we need to do the space thing. Like, space-related stuff seems to be the way to go right now. Here, go even more space, and then I'm gonna go for one memory. Um, yeah, we're not still fully there. As far as I know, this still can go over. Can it go over the cap? As far as I know, it can. Yeah, it can actually go over, but the closer we go to over the cap... Now it's completely at zero. No, it's at zero because it doesn't fill. No, 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 no. Come on. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Pushing the boundaries. <laughs> it's 
spell crit effect and more cooldown reduction. So is this 2% a lot? 9.8? Wait, what? Oh, I, 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 yeah, I can't really calculate because, you know, electricity actually, you know, goes down when I buy that thing. So because electricity also cares about cooldown. I would enjoy getting a bit more base spark, though. That's uh, really something. What is this? The glyph. Can I create random spells? I guess not. What is this? Requires divining 5 out of 6. What do you mean divining? Requires divining 5 out of 6. Divining divination. I guess I have to use one more divining spell. What, what do you mean divining 5 out of 6? Ah, it doesn't really matter. What does this what does this need? It requires storm 2 out of 3. Okay, I can do that for sure. So is is wait a minute. Is the call is the spell called storm? Uh, the spell is called I think this thing, the proficiency in using this specific spell, earning a mastery level improves the level of every associated spell classification. Okay, so yeah, exactly. So this levels up and levels up the, the, the thing below it. I get it. I, I understand now. So this thing wants me to level up one more time the storm, which is happening right now. This is a spell that has storm inside of it. And then this thing wants me to level up divining one more time, which is also happening because this thing has divining inside of it and this thing also has divining inside of it so if any of these two level up yeah i just got level on divining so now i should have access to this okay we, we learn we learn we learn what does this do for 600 energy and 60 cooldown for for, for 30 seconds uh knowledge goes through the roof and you gain 1.6 knowledge gain and also divination spell power so this is for an insane knowledge push uh do i need an insane knowledge push Right now, my knowledge is capped, by the way. Here, go with more mana regen. Yeah, do I need an insane knowledge push? Is that something we need? I could get it, but uh, I don't think I need a knowledge push right now. Like, nothing need I mean, this needs insane knowledge, but it's, it's, it's late game. This makes sense. This is late game. You can really easily realize that this is a late game thing. What is this? New spell slots available. Oh, this thing. Uh, yeah, let's... No, it needs 50 space. You know what? Let's, let's get a space in here. I don't think I need electricity right now. I can learn surge. No, I don't can I cannot learn surge. Okay, we don't need electricity right now. So let's throw this away. Let's put the space in this. And actually, let's yeah, I want this, the surge, but right now it doesn't happen. Let's go here. Just spam everything. I'm not sure if I should make these faster spells because as you see, they are just spending everything. So not really sure if it's a good idea. But I think I should definitely level this thing up. By leveling it up, it costs a lot more to cast, but it gives me 18 space. Wait, can I de-level it? Oh, I can de-level it. Oh, nice. 10 space for 600 or 18 space for 1,200. You know what? Because I'm casting everything here, I think it's better to go with the cheap solution. And now where was the 50 space needed thing? It was here. Although I didn't need that spell. Yeah, that was a mistake. So once again, this is a knowledge spell. This is a spell that really cares about knowledge gain and gives you knowledge gain. Uh, should I throw away one of these? Let's throw away one of these. Can I switch this? The next... Ah, whatever. Here you go. Z loadouts. Ah, I can create the loadouts. Inactive cooldown speed. The speed you spells cooldown when it's an, in an inactive loadout. Wait, what? Wait a minute. So, I want to see something. So, let's say this is the spark run, okay? This is the spark creation. Anything that we have spark related? I guess just go for sparks, okay? So, can I like do this and do something like this? And then just press Z and go over here? Oh, nice! Okay, that's better. I mean, this is obviously a joke here. This is never going to cool down. But at least I can easily jump builds instead of being like, okay, I got to wait for this to cool down and then sell it out of this and then build it back again. Now I can just jump over to the other tree. Like, I can do this. And then I'm like, okay, I don't want to wait. Let's go over here to electricity. Then I can wait for electricity to pop it back up. Just pop it. And then uh, when I'm done with whatever I wanted to buy for electricity upgrades... And then I can just straight up... Uh, by the way, now that I'm here, might as well do this 180. Or this 200 if I'm... If I can. Yeah, this is like trying to cut us off. Uh, I can do this. We're still climbing. Still climbing. Still climbing. Let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go. Let's go. Brute forcing everything, man. I really like the fact that this thing doesn't have a hard cap. No. Yes. Go. We got it. Ha ha ha. We got it. <laughs> Might as well go for this now that we're at the Thunder build anyway. I mean, this is burning through energy, man. Thunder build. I enjoy it. The spark build, whatever. Let's go. Let's go. 180 is no it's an it's a joke. 180 is nothing for us. I'm gonna chain these in a way where nothing is ever gonna not have not be active. Because I definitely want to always have one thing active for sure. Okay, let's also take resilience because we never want to cap anything out from the things that go on, on, on their own. Okay, so now we can go to the other build. And we can put this cliff and everything. Because it just adds 5 electricity to the cost, which doesn't matter to us, because we gain electricity for free anyway. So let's throw this away. Let's put the electricity inside of it. Let's re-equip it. Now it costs 5 energy, but look at this. We have like 4 energy regen anyway. So it's it's just straight up better. It costs 5 energy, but it costs 20 energy. Wait, what? Why does this cost 20 energy? Base cost time 5. Why does this cost 40 energy? Why does this... I don't understand. Base cost plus five electricity. Maybe because it's leveled up. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. We can learn things. Here it is. It's yeah. It's, it's this spell. So if I reduce it twice, and now it costs a hundred. Now it costs ten electricity. Now twenty. Right? Okay, I get it. So it's based on uh, it's based on the spell level its own itself. What is this? A jolt of spark energy improves your conjuration spells. Blah blah blah. For a short moment. For 20 energy, for for 3 seconds, you gain 30 crit rate and uh, four, 41 spell power. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to use it. At least not right now. Uh, well, let's make our other spells also electric. Because it's definitely worth it. Oh, I can actually swap. Ah, nice. I can swap them. Very nice. So let's throw this out. Make this a spark spell. Where is it? Here it is. Now it costs 600 plus 5. Yeah, it's definitely better. It's literally free, man. It's literally free boost. Because this resource is... is um, Gives you... Uh, th this resource is easy gatherable. And also, the less you have, the more it gets. So, it's it's definitely a good idea to go with this. Like, every time I'm spending it, it even boosts up. Which is really good for us, obviously. Uh, Charm spell crit effect. First of all, I'm, I'm capping out here, which is really bad. So, let's buy the cap upgrades. And I obviously need mana regen because 106 is definitely not enough. I'm pretty sure there is also a spell for world aspect slot. Should I go for the world aspect slot? 300 needed. You know what? Let's go for the world aspect slot. Yeah, why not? Can I cool? You know what? Let's try to... I don't have a spell for uh, for mana regen is the problem. This gives us more power. Do I have anything else for more power? I'm pretty sure I should have. Also, I would like to get more um, loadout slots, obviously. And let's also start... Wisdom? I don't know. Aptitude. Let's go with an aptitude. Let's go with a few aptitudes, actually. Might as well go with this. Get a bit of default knowledge gain. Okay, so... I want something that improves these without increasing the mana cost. So this does that. Okay, improves them without doing anything with the mana cost. What does this add, by the way? Crit rating effect. Okay, this doesn't need crit rating. This needs, like, cooldown. Yeah, this definitely needs cooldown. What does this do? Toggle for up to three. Uh, conjure spell power and crit rate. Okay, that's for crits. So I could do this plus this, for example. How did energy overshoot? Oh, look at this. So when I spend energy... Uh, normally, normally, if you don't use spark... It goes down, okay? If you don't use it at all, it, and, it, and you let it stale, it goes down. But because I'm using it, it actually goes up. That's very weird, man. Because I'm actually using it, it goes up instead of going down. Which is really good for us, obviously. Um, so we get this that gives us even more spell power and crit. And then we also got this, which gives us divine spell power and divine cooldown. So this gives us cooldown. But cooldown isn't really important when you don't have energy. So I think I should go with this. So the insane boost. By the way, I'm leaving this overflow. You know what? I don't need to do anything. We just wait for this to happen. We just wait for 300. It's not really that hard. Here, get a bit more of room. Get these rooms too. 
But if you said you you need it, and now you're spending it. Let's 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 throw this away. Let's put this in. It's gonna help actually this, but with with this glyph. And uh, now let's also put. Should I put the cooldown thing in? Gain knowledge, spark of Madruji. Didn't I have a cooldown thing? Divination spell. Yeah, this is the cooldown thing, but. Yeah, we don't have energy. We don't have enough energy for the cooldown thing. We do have energy for this because it costs mana. Uh, it costs electricity. 23 electricity, like, who cares? Ah, here you go. So use this. Use this. Now use these two. Um, exactly, that was it. This this gives us a bunch of crit chance. Conjure spells. Yeah, exactly. Now we go with this again. I wait for the combo. We go crit chance, we go boom, boom, 15, crit, 33, nice. And that's how we're gonna go, pretty much. And again, wait for the first spell. Boom, crits, crits. The second crit, nice, 33, we're at 239. The maximum is 272, I need one more, and now we have enough for this. I could also go for these. No, I think... Oh, I made a mistake. Didn't press this first spell first. Ah, it doesn't matter. We're gonna wait here a moment. I don't have any of Madruji gain. That's pretty sad, I guess. Okay, we did both spells. We are at 227. Pretty close to done. Uh, we're gonna lose a bit of mana here. I guess we can go with a bit of wisdom to not lose mana. Okay. We're at 279. Pretty close. Pretty close. Next spell is going to bring us up to the number we need. One, two, done. Plus one world aspects. Aspects. What is this? Aspect workshop. A manifest space to create powerful tools and structures. Or aspect alchemy lab. Manifest space. Okay, first of all, this needs 2.4 knowledge, which is not happening. So let's go with this. Workshop. What is this? Learn nature. Okay, you know what? We unlocked the workshop. Let's actually end the video here. I think this is a good spot to leave the video on. Uh, in my opinion, at least. And you know what? Just to not overflow mana, let's, uh, let's like, throw these away. And let's do literally the same thing. But this time with expansion magic. Like, oh, by the way. <laughs> whoops. Like, the, the idea is this also costs 400 something. Exactly 14 cooldown, 10 cooldown, 42 cooldown. So theoretically, I want to do one... Two. So this is yeah we have enough so we do dub dub boom boom and now we have 276 as my my cap here agility for more crits and yeah I think that's going to be it for today uh, next time I'm gonna play I am not gonna play this on my free time okay this is like an idle game that progresses slowly on your own like uh, the speed that this game progresses at is literally for you know you don't need to play it on your free time it's a pretty decent um on its own it has a pretty good pacing on its own so i think i'm gonna not play this offline you know normally with idle games i'm like okay guys this is it for today i'm gonna play this a bit offline and then i'm gonna come back to you uh, i'm not gonna do this with this game i'm gonna try with this game to just straight up play it only when when i'm uh, recording you know just to so that everybody sees my progress on on their own and then if at some point i see that there is like some kind of i don't know a wall that prevents us from progressing then I'm going to think about, um, you know, not playing this on my free time. I guess playing it on my free time. Anyway, uh, so the only thing that's going to happen next time is most likely space, uh, knowledge, and spark is going to be filled. I mean, spark most likely not because it stops at half. But uh, knowledge and space is definitely going to be filled. I also see that spark seems to have a higher cap now. Was it 68 point something? Is it the same like it was? I mean, if I see the number, I will recognize it, but otherwise... I think so. 69. Nice. Okay, it wasn't 70 for sure. It was 60 something. So this now has a higher cap, which is pretty decent. So yeah, as I said, uh, next time space and knowledge is most likely going to be filled. The rest, uh, not. Uh, and also mana most likely. But as I said, I'm not going to play this on my own like at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I definitely like the game. It's pretty chill. It's pretty nice. It's, um, yeah, it has its own little, like, a small, not so small, this, it's its own sp pacing, it's pretty slow-ish, I guess, which uh, isn't bad, it isn't really bad that it's a slow pacing game, 
Yeah, if anything, it's more chill. It's um, yeah, it's more relaxed. I can do this. Let's do this. Why not? And I I see by the way that now it's actually very worth it to start leveling up the spells, as uh, you see we don't have enough spell slots right now so and we also have too much energy that we can't really do anything with anyway um that's going to be it for today uh, first of all thanks for the Patreon supporters that's always helpful we hit the hour mark i didn't want to hit the hour mark man at the 40 minute by the way at the 45 minute mark i was looking at the time and i was like okay i'm gonna end this in five minutes so it's not an hour long and now it's an hour long i don't know how i do it man it's you know what i know how i'm doing it it's because i'm having fun when you have fun you forget uh, everything else that is happening in the background. So th that's what happened, okay? It, it was uh, me having fun. And this game is actually really enjoyable and really chill. So if you want me to play this a bit more, then um, yeah, I mean, just comment down below about it or leave a like so that the algorithm picks it up and maybe other people see it. And then just by the fact that I see people watch this, I can play more. Otherwise, I'm going to do like two or three more runs. And then if I see that this game dies off because people don't care about it, I'm going to go off to another game. So it's pretty much on you. I mean, it's half on me, half on you. I have to do the videos, you have to do the watching, and if you don't want to watch, which obviously is something you can do, right? Nobody forces you to do anything. Uh, then I'm just not going to play this anymore. <laughs> but this is for the future. For now, I'm going to definitely play this because we haven't seen anything. And uh, I definitely did not hit the quote-unquote, you know, idle game wall that exists most of the time. So yeah, that's it. Once again, thanks for all the Patreon supporters. Also, thanks for the membership supporters. Once again, I'm reading your comments first. You might not exist here as a name, but I do read your comments first. And also, everybody can see you in the comments. Have the icon um, if you want to join the community. And yeah, that's it pretty much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for the one hour run. It's not going to be one hour from here on out. I will try to make these a bit more concise, like a bit smaller. Because like it's an idle game and I can cut it off whenever I want. And for some reason, I make the mistake and cut it off like five years later after I, the fact. Like after what I should have actually already have cut it off in the first place. So anyway, that's going to be it. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.